Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. Mother Teresa once said, Loneliness and the feeling of being unwanted is the most terrible poverty. And the worst malady mankind struggles with is on the rise today. We are all becoming more lonely, and social scientists say it may be the result of replacing flesh and blood relationships with virtual friendships of social media, replacing face-to-face contact with Facebook friends or whatever, interacting with people we hardly know. Real human social interaction has declined. In 1985, only 10% of the people said they had no one with whom to discuss important matters. 15% said they had only one such good friend. By 2004, 25% had really nobody to talk to, and 20% had only one real friend. Our relationships may stretch wider, but they are much more shallow. We can be reached almost 24-7, but our hearts are less touchable by another real person than ever before. Yvette Vickers had been a Playboy bunny and a B-grade movie star, but when she died, the better part of a year went by before her mummified body was found in her home. A neighbor noticed overflowing junk mail in her mailbox. She had faraway fans and friends on Internet sites. In fact, News of her untimely death was the subject of 16,057 Facebook posts and 881 tweets. Yet she had no children, no church, and no really close friends. Her last phone calls were to distant fans of her movies. On her final day, do you suppose, did she wonder, like the movie actress of a generation ago, Doris Day, If so many people love me, how come I'm alone? It isn't just famous celebrities who are lonely. Ask the single parent who puts the kids to bed and keeps the television on for company. Ask the businessman who is burned out but fearful of letting his boss know he really needs help. Ask the teenage girl who is pregnant but fearful of telling her parents. Ask the child who is bullied on the playground for being different. There are two things of which you can be sure. God knows your anguish, your loneliness, your hurt and pain, and he cares. He cares infinitely more deeply than you have any idea. Do you remember the loneliness that Jesus faced as the disciples turned one by one and walked away from him? Remember his anguish as he cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Remember the long hours prior to the ordeal at Calvary when he struggled in prayer in the garden and wrestled with the anguish which was before him? Do you remember how Jesus prayed, If it is possible, may this cup be taken from me? Was he afraid of dying? Fearful of the nails that would be driven through his hands and feet? No, a thousand times no. What he was asking was that he not be separated from the presence of his Father in heaven. In other words, he was praying that he might be spared the loneliness of separation from his Father. Friend, Jesus is a specialist when it comes to loneliness, and that's part of the reason that he provides a remedy for your pain. He said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. You may be alone but you never, ever again need to be lonely. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines.